How's it going, everybody? Welcome to my Black Ops 6 campaign playthrough. Uh, obviously, I completed the first mission. My recording that I did on my Elgato had no audio for whatever reason, but I got it fixed. So we're going to redo the first mission, Bishop Takes Rook. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, leave a like, subscribe to the channel as always, hit the notification bell. Let's get into this. is eliminated. Are you denying that? We have discussed what it already. What more do you want, Livingston? Enough! You disobeyed a direct order, Mr. Marshall, when it was clear your op was compromised. With all due respect, sir, you weren't there. And the group that compromised you, the Pantheon. You sure that's who they were? That's what Alawi called them. When are you gonna tell us what's really going on here? I'm asking the questions, Mr. Lewis. Sir, if you read the report, you... I read your report, Ms. Harrow. Some of it I still find hard to believe. That's why we're going to go over events again. Only this time, I want to hear it from Marshall. From the beginning. We were in position near the Iraq-Kuwait border. Small team, me, Harrow, and Case. <laughs> Allow you the head of schedule. Whoever he's meeting won't wait around for long. No, not if it's a smuggler. I'm sure Allow has paid top dollar to get himself out of the Middle East. I guess it doesn't really matter. He's coming with us. Outlaw 42, we've got our eyes on the convoy. Paying the target, over. Roger, ground. Target confirmed. Waiting on your go. Over. Do it. Outlaw 42, you're clear to engage. Out. Let's go get him. Copy, ground. Engaging it out. Here comes the traffic jam. <clears throat> All right. So obviously I don't know how to do this mission here since I've already played it. But for whatever reason, I had uh, the Elgato software on my computer. And I guess it was like an old version. And whenever I finish the recording, try to edit it, no audio. So I uninstalled it. They didn't even have the right uh, application on the Elgato website. They only had the 4K capture utility. So I downloaded that version. 
and it actually works. So I guess I just have the. It's a. Uh, I guess I had the wrong. <clears throat> I had an old software. Unfortunately, but everything should be working now because I did a test recording of a game and it actually did have the audio. There you go, boy. And it works, so. We are good to go. And this is on the veteran difficulty as well, so you guys will know that I ain't gonna put this on like regular or some shit. Cause I ain't no sucker. Black truck. We gotta get eyes on it. And also, I got eyes on I'll see if I can run the Red Dead Redemption 1 on PC. Because I do have that pre ordered. What we got? What we got? What we got? Here we go. Whoa! Damn! The numbers. They haven't spotted us. Keep it that way. Come on. Um, I don't know if I have the specifications. Let me get this straight, Mr. Marshall. The group you claim to be, the Pantheon, was a multinational, heavily armed paramilitary force that showed up out of the blue. At this point, you're told to wait for backup, but you decide to play cowboy instead. We had to act fast. Our window this was hero, closed. Did he or did he not disobey your order? Yes, sir, but the accelerated timetable. That's what I thought. I've come to expect this from you, but not from you. Sir, our objective was to recover Alawi by any means necessary. Oh, I'm aware. So, care to explain why he's on a slab in the morgue right now? Things got complicated. Complicated. Uh, so if I can run it, we'll do the Red Dead Redemption 1 playthrough as well, but I have tomorrow off, so I'll get a bunch of stuff done, hopefully. Get some more games recorded and uploaded and everything like that. <clears throat> Okay, we got the equipment wheel. Pull out this uh, RCXD. Oh. That stun out there. Oh shit. Bro, did that grenade literally Where was that grenade? Because I literally dodged out of the way and it seems like it was magnetized to me. That is crazy. That RCXD down there. Kill them bitches. Here we go, here we go. Ooh, right in my way. Look, look, he's throwing grenades again. Let's 
Let's do another RCXD. Do another one. There we go. Push, 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 push. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> My guys need a push too, man. Oh, here we go. Holy shit. What the fuck? Oh god. Move! Ooh, a three piece. Got that three piece on him. There we go. We got the advantage now. This bitch going prone. Oh god. One more hit, I'm dead. Come on, get your health back. Oh. Huh. Shoot my own guy. Right, here we go. Oh my god. Holy fucking shit. That scared the shit out of me. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh my god. <clears throat> Things always don't go as planned, huh? You know shit. Where are these people at? Uh, come on. There we go. This is better cover. Where he almost killed me. Oh, no. Alright, here we go. Move! Don't bitch, get in the way. Look at these. These guys going prone. It's, it's in, oh shit. It's insane. I have no grenades. Literally, you just hit me with a fucking RPG. Thankfully, I have a checkpoint, because that was some bullshit. Alright, don't get in my way this time. Itch. Right, let's throw those out there. And they get stunned. It happened again. What do I do?
Yeah, I got all of them. Almost to the RP case. Keep pushing. Alright. Get these RPG guys first. Did I get him? I swear to God. This fucking bug that's in my room right now. I'm about to kick its ass. Alright, jump! security at risk. Sorry about that. I gotta take out that fucking bug. It was pissing me off. Literally on my damn camera. How come Case hasn't talked yet? Yes, Ms. Harrow. Bringing in a rogue operative is certainly a win. Russell Adler. The mole who betrayed us in Panama. The man responsible for your current condition, Mr. Woods. So why was he trying to tell you something in Kuwait? Bishop takes Rook. Any idea what that means? No clue. Okay, then. Based on Harrow's reluctant report and the withholding of critical information regarding Russell Adler, your team is suspended. Are you for real? This is bullshit. As for you, Ms. Harrow, consider yourself on very, very thin ice. People like me and Adler are the reason we ain't speaking Russian right now. The Cold War is over, Mr. Woods. That makes you and Russell Adler the last global gunslingers of a bygone era. Take this time to reflect on that. Dismissed. All of you. My office in five. I'd advise you not to pursue this further, Marshal. need to be scars <clears throat> why are we here Harrow because you know something care to tell me what it is you're up to 
Me and the kids just need some time away. You know, take a little trip. Reflect a little. Look, I can cover your asses on my end best I can. But if things go sideways again, you're on your own. Copy that. Oh, you one. One? Yeah, try a dozen. Do me a favor, Troy. Don't get yourself killed. I'll see what I can do. Bishop takes Rook. Of course, Woods knew what it meant. Adler was pointing us somewhere. The Black Sea. According to Woods, 15 years ago, he and Adler discovered an abandoned KGB safe house in Bulgaria. It was called the Rook. Last year, before Adler disappeared, he'd been chasing rumors of a dangerous paramilitary group on receiving orders from inside the CIA. He believed the Pantheon was developing a new type of weapon with plans to unleash something the world had never seen before. And wouldn't you know it, soon evidence surfaced incriminating Adler himself, and he fled. To this place. What we found here over the last couple days has changed everything. Now I'm questioning what I believe about Adler, about Livingston, about the CIA itself. I have my doubts about going dark on Jane. Woods might be right about her value on the inside, but she'll be in the crosshairs if Langley learns what we're up to. Adler brought us here for a reason, to stop the Pantheon before they strike. To do that, Woods believes we'll need him back. That won't be easy. But Adler let the new follow. It's a good place to start. You know the plan. Somebody do my, the person you're gonna meet. Still no idea why Adler was in contact with her, but I need to leave. CTA is across the river. I doubt if Adler did. Hell, for all we know, he's part of this fucking pantheon thing. Who can we trust? Duma agreed to meet Casey in Avalon, so we're doing that. Well, well, well. Look at you putting your big boy pants on. Shouldn't we find Adler before making this call? Well, that's exactly why I'm going to Numa for one and John your old friend. Friend? Sorry, but I can't stand the son of a bitch. But we need him. Sometimes you just gotta roll with your nose. If he's as good as you say he is, by the time Cates gets back, we'll have located Adler. Guess Livingston knows a man who stuck him in a barrel. Our details are up on the board, Case. I'm headed out, so hit me up soon if you need anything. Let's talk when you have a minute. <clears throat> All right, guys. So that was the end of the first mission. This is kind of like our safe house here. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and stop here for the first mission just so I can have it up on my channel uh, because this is a few days late, like unlike what it was supposed to. So if, I, if you did enjoy the first episode, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel as always, hit the notification bell, follow me on Twitter. And everything like that. I'll be back with some more Black Ops 6 campaign. We'll get through this probably uh, by the end of the week. Because I'm, I'm going to be on this campaign heavy just so it's done and out of the way. And everything like that. And be on the lookout as well for that Red Dead Redemption 1 on PC. <clears throat> we'll see if we can run it. If we can and it's not laggy or anything, we'll definitely play that. Uh, but I'll be back with, uh, I'm going to take a look around the safe house and see what's all around here. And then I uh, will be back with mission number two. So I'll see you guys on the next one.